Hello there. So this is going to be part one, a short part I think, of, um, and I'm not sure how many yet, but part one of the uh, frequency videos that I wanted to do because I, I kind of have this feeling that there's an importance to it. This will just explain, the, this particular video will just explain the fundamentals of freq sound frequencies and a couple little interesting tests that you can try for yourself as well as um, some examples that I have, of which I'll explain shortly. So first, to define sound frequency, here are a couple of definitions that I came across. It is the number of cycles per second, hertz, of anything that oscillates is called a frequency. A person with normal hearing can hear all the way up to about 20,000 and then the other one, vibrations transmitted through an elastic solid or a liquid or gas with frequencies in the approximate range of 20 to 20,000 hertz, capable of being detected by human organs of hearing. Pretty basic. Now, I want you guys, well, I was going to say listen to because I was going to put the video up, but I changed my mind. I'm going to show a screenshot and I will have the um, links for any of the videos that I or websites that I talk about down in the description. So, if you go to the first link, um, I want you guys to listen to that video and take note of the approximate point in which you can hear a tone. Make sure you take note because I would love for you to post it in the comments as I'm going through the ME. I think that it's going to be important with my research. I wore headphones when I did this test. Um, I will also, and I already said that, stop repeating yourself, Nicole. <laughs> First time I tried this, I used crappy headphones. And seeing as I forgot my number, I just redid the test with a step above crappy headphones. My personal result is 150, which is about 19,000 hertz. So that this test, that this is the first test I'm asking you guys to do, and the, here, that's the screenshot of it. Um, and apparently, I've got superhuman hearing. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um, now, I want to talk briefly about how a lot of us have been experiencing the ringing in the ears. I found this site here, which helps you to determine at what frequency that particular ringing is at. Why did I do this? Again, curiosity. So this spot I am at is about halfway down the page. It's not, you know, right when you click on the link. It's about halfway down. I didn't use headphones for this. That would have been, I think, a little too much. I just turned my volume up a titch, and then I found my ear ringing quite easily. I would skip. I wouldn't listen to the whole thing. I would skip kind of about, you know, because if you play the whole thing, it might feel like your ears are going to explode. And unfortunately, I didn't write down my number. I know that it was it was quite high. I'm thinking it might have been around the 18,000 hertz range. And I have two final things that I want to discuss in this particular part of the frequency video series. I want to talk about the hertz um, pertaining to the music that we listen to. Now all of our music that we hear is tuned to the 440 hertz and that became standard in America in 1926. There is some controversy behind this change and I may discuss that in another video in a later part of the series. What is interesting is the um, many discussions about how the 432 hertz is mathematically consistent with the universe as well as transmitting beneficial healing energy. I have come to think of it as a way to realign myself with the good frequencies, the positive and cor correct frequencies for me as a being. I know it kind of sounds silly, but it's been working for me. There are many apps out there that you can download in your phone which convert your music from the 440 hertz to the 432. I find that after I listen to these converted music files, I feel really more in tuned and at peace and happier. Kind of hard to explain. So what I want to do now is I am going to go back to my phone recording thing 
and um, let you guys listen to two short um, music clips that I have on there. One at 440 and one at 432. And if it is sideways, I'm sorry, but it, it doesn't matter because you're not really watching it. Okay, so I did have two video clips up. Um, not video clips, two audio clips using um, the regular player and then my 432 player. But there was a copyright, you know, doohiggy on it, which, you know, fine. But then it wouldn't let me place it into the video editor. It just did not exist. So I can't play those for you, but I do have them on my channel. This here is what the 432. Um, hopefully this is not copywriting me too. So frustrating because I this is for educational purposes for crying out loud. I am trying to educate. But this is a song here. Well, I don't want to click it. Um, the Sting song. Um, I always think of it as Desert Rose, but that's the one that I was trying to play. Yeah, I'll put the link to to that little video clip oh, in my description. This is just a headache. It's just a headache. It's just so silly. So anyways, um, sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry that you have so many links that you got to click on to participate in, in this particular video. But just go ahead, click on that link in the description, or just go to my channel, and um, it, it should be one of the first videos. I will label it something along the effect of 440 versus 432 song clip or something like that and then you can you know listen and hear the difference so so for beginners I hope this was helpful for part one of this series and I hope you come back for part two and I guess I'm just gonna wrap it up and on that note I hope that y'all have a great day and I will talk to you later bye